The sex of a new baby is a big moment in anyone's life and in America families are having gender parties, cutting a cake to reveal the colours, pink or blue. Watch how this mum with six boys already found out the result of her pregnancy test. Shoot, how do I get in? Just cut the piece. Okay, hold on. You lift it up, baby. Oh, you're kicking me out. Come on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. Is that one line or two? No, she's not. I thought the thing would just be stuck in the cake. Can you see the shot of the poor little kid, though? Like, obviously, the sixth boy, the last one, going, oh, I didn't realise I was that much of a disappointment. <laughs> 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 The doctors are going to a lot of trouble these days to let people know what the sex of a child is baking cakes. Um, it is our daily dilemma, expecting a baby girl or boy does gender matter? Margaret Rafferty from kidspot.com.au is here. G'day, Margaret. Hey, Sarah. Um, are, they, are they really... Are people really having parties now to kind of reveal yes, the sex of a child? they are. I don't important? think the trend's caught on quite so much here. I've but heard about it here, though. You have? Yeah. It's not quite as popular, probably coming soon, no. but yeah, I people can do. Hardly wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you look very excited watching you do. that item. Oh, for God's sake, what is the matter with everybody? <laughs> <laughs> but I tell you, if you had had six boys, you would be pretty excited that you were finally having well, a girl. Well, I wouldn't behave like that with a cake. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, I would. If, if you're desperate for a girl. Well, you've had, you've had two girls, Jess. Yeah. Did you want a boy? No. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I mean, not, no, that, no. Not, not that I said anything at the time. Like, when I yeah. was pregnant, I would say, oh, I don't mind, I yeah. don't mind, as long as the baby's healthy. But secretly, yeah. I was really hoping that I would have a girl. Yeah. And then when I was pregnant the second time, I was hoping I'd have another girl. Yeah. So really? I feel very yeah. lucky. You've got to pretend you don't care. Yes. And then when they come out, you, you go, go, yes. yes. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I just think it's so unfair that on top of all the training that obstetricians already have to do, they now have to learn how to bake a cake as well. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine how much they charge as well. <laughs> and you wouldn't um, get a Medicare rebate. No. <laughs> it, it, it's such an interesting dilemma, isn't it? Because um, you, you can't let your mind mm. wander there or go there. You have to be happy with whatever mm. you get, really, yeah. don't you? Mm. You do, but I think it's natural if you've kind of had six boys that you might like yeah. a bit of variety, maybe. But even more than that, there's, you know, we do have now couples travelling overseas to go to fertility clinics where there's gender selection available. Mm. We, we covered a story mm. on that just a, a few weeks ago from a couple who'd been to Thailand to try and conceive a girl. I find and that creepy and weird. Yeah, well, not to, to get even more creepy and weird, and I'm not sure if this is actually being confirmed because there's all these question marks over how um, reputable the, the doctor was and stuff that the story came from. But there was talk of a gender-selective abortion <gasps> uh, in Australia. I was reading a report about uh, mm. recently. And, I, and again, it's... It's not clear whether yeah, this actually. Yeah, it's not clear that. whether it actually happened. I think there was yeah. a question of whether a doctor had this religious belief to re refuse to do it. Blah blah blah. But well, if you can imagine it, it's... you don't like that is the end mm. of that's at the bottom of the slippery slope, mm. if you like. Like once you start deciding, oh, you're in the sandpit. What you're going to pick based on a boy or girl? Yeah. yeah. Then when do you start? And it, you're right. It, it is a kind of continuum, isn't it? At one end, you've got people who are naturally happy to be having a girl mm. after six boys and at the other end you've got a situation like we have in countries where like China where there's too few girls mm. because there's been mm. so much preference for boys um, and you know that there is a, a continuum as I said and at one end yeah great that's a bit of fun at the other mm. end uh, that's a bit scary mm. all right gender selection parties what do you think head to kidspot.com.au Margaret thank you very much for Thanks, coming yeah. on the show thank you,